Welcome back to Holistic Hearts. You guys, it has been such a nice break, a nice time to pause, a nice time to just sit and receive from the journey that I've been on. Um, I hit the ground running in 2020, started this podcast, and really just cranked out content. I felt like I was right in the flow of kingdom wisdom and content, and it was such a beautiful time. And then through this past summer, uh, in case you didn't know, I took a hiatus. Um, I recorded all of my last series, which was encounter after encounter. I did uh, all of 2020 two's recordings, January through, mm, I believe it was June, I recorded Encounters. And if you don't know what Encounters are, it is a interactive way where we can imagine how Jesus would approach us. So it's really just taking our head knowledge of him and making it our heart knowledge. And it was so powerful for me and so perfect for the season I was in, the season that I was about to enter into, and really felt after I was able to get all of that content out, um, I felt Jesus just saying, hey, let's rest, let's pause. And so I did. I pressed pause on my podcast. And if you know me, I am a podcast coach, a podcast manager, and that is my business. And one of the things I tell my clients is to stay consistent. So to feel like the Holy Spirit was leading me to press pause and for an unforeseen amount of time, it felt so out of my normal wisdom. (laughs) But man, I am so thankful for what the Lord has been doing, continues to do deep, deep, deep in my heart. And I pray that the fruit of this past uh, six or seven months of really just pausing, reflecting, healing will Uh, benefit you in the coming months. Now, as I've been planning for this upcoming year, each month is going to have a theme and it's going to um, be a little bit different. I'm not going to do encounters every week. I will um, have encounters here and there. And I also will be Uh, sharing some books that have been pivotal in my journey. I'm going to be sharing more of uh, the people in my life that have been on the show previously, and they will be taking over the podcast for one episode, two episodes. I'm super excited about it because I really just want to bless you, um, be an open vessel for what the Lord has been teaching me, and to be an encouragement to you. Now, if you are on my list of my newsletter, you saw the form being sent out of what are the top things that people wanted to hear in 2023 here on Holistic Hearts. And I loved hearing from you. I want to keep hearing from you. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I loved the responses. It was everything from, I want to hear more about spiritual life coaching. Um, I want to hear more about wellness and movement. That was actually a very popular one, which was interesting to me. Um, Yeah. So I will definitely take all of those things and we will hit on them at some point during this year. Just know that each month we will have a theme and we will hit on some of your questions. So I want you to be aware of a couple of things. One is I will be funding this podcast through a platform called Buy Me a Coffee, and you can find that link down below. And basically, it's up to you. If you want to send me a $5 donation or uh, $10 just to help get this podcast um, to where it's um, 
valuable to you, if it's valuable to you, then show your support. Buy me a coffee. <laughs> so I will post that link below on every episode. Um, and I would appreciate that so much. Uh, the other thing too, is we are, I'm not going to be doing a membership as of right now. Um, I just want to support you guys, uh, through the Facebook community. So if you're not in, in the Facebook community, I encourage you to go on there. It is mind, body, spirit, holistic faith for women. And I will, um, accept your friend request. And that's kind of where we will be interacting and posting inside of there. All right. So I told you a little bit about what happened since the summer and now it's 2023 in January. And today's episode, I really want to dive into something that is helpful to start every coaching conversation. And that is really just becoming aware, aware of your thoughts, aware of what season you're in and what's the difference between a season and a chapter. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is because our theme this month in January is going to be vision. And I believe that God gives us vision if we are open to that, but we have to know where we're currently at and either in order to move forward. So what is your awareness in your mind? Where are you at in your body? Where are you at in your, um, in your wellness journey, in your nourishment of your body, in your relationships, in your finances, in your business, what season are you in? And what is interesting about this and something that I learned through this, these last six months is that we can be in a season where there's growth and there is a uh, harvest and in, in one area and in another area, we can be in the season of winter where we are hunkered down. We are going deep we are going to a place that's almost indescribable and that is okay. We can live in the both and we can live both simultaneously in one area of our life where we are thriving. We are enjoying and having fun and delighting in, and we can also be in another area where it is painful. It is too much for words and that's okay. And that's kind of where I found myself in this last season where my business, my podcast business was continuing to bloom. It was, it is, it has been so much fun to coach other women in their journey with podcasting and coach other women through, um, yeah, just referrals and just growth and all of these areas where I saw so much harvest And then in my own place of journeying (laughs) through, um, there was a lot of deep unknown work. And you may have heard me last season. I did talk about, um, Ashley Ferris, a good friend of mine. She came on my show and afterwards I was telling her, I felt like I was about there in a place of a dark night of the soul and basically feeling almost disconnected and like the offering was coming, (laughs) but I wasn't quite there yet, but I knew it was coming. And she said to me, you know, during heart surgery, you're put under, so you don't feel the pain that there's so much internal work going on that it's his mercy that he gives you medicine (laughs) to make you not be aware of all the intricate things that he's fixing within us. And that really stuck with me because you guys, there were moments this summer, this fall, where I got up to do an encounter, a quiet time, time in the word. And I just felt so lost, but I knew that I knew that I knew he was with me. 
It wasn't like he wasn't doing anything, but I also felt so disconnected in some of my heart. And <clears throat> hence the reason of this, this whole podcast name is called Holistic Hearts. And I just clung to that truth that he was doing heart surgery within me. And I, I still believe that there's so much that I haven't quite put my finger on. And I'm so grateful for how I have been able to come out of such a dark place personally. Um, and not in a depression way, not in um, anxiety but I also believe that he's, he's there and all of those things, but it was a, it was a weird space. I can't quite put my finger on it other than it was a, um, a deep heart surgery. And one of the ways that I was able to walk through that was the Holy Spirit leading me through a process of writing every morning instead of opening my Bible, like a good Christian woman, he had me write my own truth. Now, Jesus is in with, within me, right? So I'm trusting that he has me in these moments. And for almost six months straight, I wrote three full pages front and back, just stream of consciousness and allowed anything to come to the paper without judgment, tried to, <laughs> I would say, tried to. I definitely became aware of what he was showing me. And it was more of him gently saying, Kristen, you have put on such a filter over your mouth, over what you feel you should or should not say, that you've prevented me from speaking through you from speaking to your heart, from digging deep, almost like a mask to cover my own journey, my own story from myself. I hope this makes sense to you. And this process of writing, becoming aware of my own thoughts was so incredibly powerful because it helped me to see what exactly my mind is doing. We hear all the time that our mindset matters, right? Our thoughts matter. What we're thinking matters. And yes, absolutely. But if we are not aware of our own thoughts, then this is where we start. And perhaps maybe for you, it looks like sitting down each morning and writing out pages, Maybe it's easier for you to press record on a voice memo and just start talking. Maybe it's going to a therapist and a counselor that you trust and starting to become aware of those thoughts and call your bluff. It all starts with an awareness. Where are your thoughts? Where are you mentally? Where are you emotionally? And for me in that season, in the last six months, there was a lot going on at our house. There was, um, some of you guys know, we've been walking on a long journey with our son who has uh, something called pandas and it affects the brain and it just, everything came to a pinnacle moment in September and October. And I'm not going to lie. It was one of the hardest emotionally draining couple of months. And I think <laughs> looking back on it, that God knew, I know he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew that I needed to be aware of where my heart was during that process, that that was actually being kind to my own heart. That was actually being tender and attentive to what my own heart needed. Because I know as women, as moms, we hold space for so many people in our lives. 
And when we hold space for ourselves, when we allow Jesus into those places, whether it looks like a quiet time, worship, writing, whatever it is, we now have the capacity to hold more on the outside. Okay, so I want you to think about in this quick episode as we prepare for the rest of the month, where are you currently? Are you in a fall season where you're learning a ton? The leaves are changing. Old things are dying. You're preparing. I think of school time and how we are um, excited to learn. We have all the fresh things, new pencils, new journals, new uh, books to read. And perhaps that's where you're at. I mean, it's January and we're all, we all have a vision for new goals and all those things. And maybe that's where you're at in some of your life right now. Or maybe you are in a winter where you are digging deep, doing that inner healing like I was doing this last six months where you are ready to peel it back or, you know, take it back a little bit. You're ready to say no to things. You're ready to kind of go inward and let the Holy Spirit do work within you. Or are you in the spring where things are new, things are blossoming, the birds are chirping, there's joy, there's, there's excitement, there's freshness, fresh grass, there's rain. I love this picture because I want to tell this story because I read uh, a book by <clears throat> Andrew Peterson. Yes, he's the author of Wing Feather series. But Andrew Peterson wrote another book called The God of the Garden. And I picked up that book a couple of, uh, maybe it was a month ago. And inside that book was the most beautiful story of him walking his son out to his property and planting a tree seed. And he broke open the soil and he put a seed down into the soil and his son wanted to cover it up really quick. But he said, no, you got to dig deeper and push it in even further. And I love that because I, I was thinking about in the springtime, when you're in that season, there is a season where you're like, oh yeah, there's going to be new life. But first you have to actually plant the seed, put it underneath all the dirt and push it in even further and then wait for the rain to come and crack open that seed. So that right there has been such a, an anchor for me of the seed is cracking open and eventually that green little shoot will come poking out of the dirt and it will be brand new life. And that is a spring season. And then summer is that coasting along that just joy and being present, delighting in where you're at. Maybe it's in, um, you know, physically you're at a space where you're delighting of where you're at, or maybe in your family, you are embracing this season of life with where your kids are at. So I want you to just dig into that and ask that question of what season you're in. And I want you to ask, is this a season or is this a chapter? A dear friend of mine, she's been my prayer partner uh, and dear friend for decades. <laughs> and we were talking in the midst of this hard season that we just were coming out of. And she said, sometimes it's not a season, it's a chapter because we're closing that book. We don't want to go back there again. We're closing that chapter. We're closing that um, era <laughs> of hard. And I loved that because it gives us permission to be done with something that we are, we are finished with that area. And so with that, what season are you in, in all areas? And perhaps maybe it's a chapter. Now, as we move forward through January, I want you to start thinking about after you are aware of where you are right now, what is the vision? What are some of those goals that you have? What is 
your intention and how are you going to get there? And so just keep your ears out for the next episode. You guys, this is going to be great. I'm excited for this year for 2023. And again, I'd love for you to keep in touch with me on Instagram or on our Facebook page inside of the mind, body, and spirit, holistic faith for women club, (laughs) club group. All right. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.